previously on Ferb 7001's Let's Play series. Right now I'm back. Then turn that stone gear into an iron gear. Now I should be able shift click. No. Okay. Well, who cares? Cows! Yay! Die cow. Oh, you know what I forgot? I need two chunk loaders. <laughs> well, here we go again. This will be part one out of two parts, probably. Maybe three parts of setting up this system. Okay guys, so I'm back, and I'm pretty sure this is about two or three days after I left off. And you might be able to see from the book in my inventory, darn it, that'll fix it some other time. If you see the book in my inventory, the Thaumonomicon, you will know that I was doing some magic, and I got this thing that I was going to show you guys. It's called Thaumium, and you need to... So, that's the way you make it with the exchange, magic, and iron symbols. That's how you discover it. And I can't show you guys it, but and then just right click, complete. Then check it out here. Magical metal, metal, and it's magic and the metal symbol. Now here's the thing I've been trying to figure out. Now I need to figure out how you do this. I'm pretty sure you can make it. I don't have any stone on me, so I can't do that. Anyway, that was just something I wanted to show you guys because I will need it to sort of make my basement look nice because there's this one wand I want that will make cleaning up the basement a lot easier wow this is lagging once oh I am uploading so that'll be that's probably why it's uploading um not uploading uh I am uploading so that's probably why it's lagging so much Anyway, my basement is over here. I cleaned it out with a filler. And so, yeah. But it's really basementy. Yeah. So, like I said, we were going to finish up the power and wire up the machines, and then that'll be the end of this episode. Uh, where is it? Wait, why do I already have one? Did I already have another tank? And I was all about to make two more. Oh, okay. So, two ender tanks. <laughs> I kind of forgot that I had another one already. Okay, so I'm going to go take one of them. I need some more. Oh, it's lagging so much. Uh, do I have them in here? No. Uh, where is it? No, it's not combustion engines. It's the redstone engines that I need. Uh, there's one. Okay, so and I'm pretty sure that's all I have. So I'll go make some more. I need four redstone engines to run it. Okay, grab all that back. Um, and that. And that. And that. And put this ender tank SP. Right there. So, let's grab a few more pistons. 
Oh, there's a new one in there. It's okay. I made a bunch. Hopefully, I can get started on the applied and adjustic stuff, and I'll show you guys all about that in a few episodes. Maybe next episode, if I can get all the right stuff. So, yeah, one, two, three of those. Uh, three glass. Three, three, three. Um, oh, darn it. Okay. Go into the crafting table by pushing C. Yeah, I need double that. It's going really laggy. It's never lagged this much. Well, hopefully I can fix that. Like I said, it's probably just because I'm uploading. Sorry that last episode, the one clip where I went into the nether for the first time, was deleted somehow. I'm not sure why, but yeah, got deleted. Oh, I made for an extra one. Wait, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. There we go. Make those. And I'll go set this up. Yeah, this should work perfectly, I think. Yeah. I just need some... I'll use redstone torches. Okay. The good thing about redstone engines is... Actually, I'm pretty sure engines don't explode anymore. Engines used to explode if they were darn it wrong. Well, this one. engines used to explode. I'm not sure if they still do. That might be in 1.5 that they stop exploding, but I'm still in 1.4.7 for this. So uh, they used to explode. Now I'm pretty sure with the new update they don't explode anymore. That was only if they were running for too long. But I don't think they do. Like I said. <coughs> uh, yeah, it's powering them all. You pumping it in? Yep. Okay, let's go get the other one set up. Okay, there we go. Put that in there. And do I have a lot of glass? That's the question. Actually, let me see. Uh, there's this really cool type of tank that I. It's like, oh, it's pretty cool. Uh, what's it called? It's a. Zycrab. Darn it. At the bottom there. You guys saw the one that said Zycraft. Sheens. There we go. And the one I want is.
Where is it? Oh, there it is. Now. That is... Any type for engineering bricks, iron bars, and a bucket. How do you make the engineering bricks? You make them with the zycoridite, redstone, and stone bricks. Okay. Wow, lagging lots. Okay, so let's head over to the people. There we go. And if that is correct, there, 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 there. Then right, redstone in the middle. And turn it into Zycor White. Not, not that much. Ten pieces. That might be enough. I'll just throw all of it in. Sorry guys, but from here on out, as you can see, right now it's sort of like pause. I'm not sure why I did that, but I'm just gonna, because the sound's cut out now, so I'm just gonna try and do a narration as we're going along. So I'm just gonna sleep. Yeah, I, I'll probably miss a few things, because remember, this is just the narration. It cuts back in right at the end, so just so you guys know. So let's go grab the Zycori, Zycoridite. And let's make the and let's make the uh, engineering brick. So let's just put it all together. So we'll get four engineering bricks. So just grab those. And why am I walking over there? Okay. Yo, what am I doing? Okay, so let's go grab the stuff we need to put together the valve. So I think I just grabbed some iron there. Did I? Uh -uh. It was really laggy when I was recording. So, just so you guys know. Uh, so let's just clear that recipe out. And let's make some iron bars. Okay, and there we go. We've got 16 iron bars. Let's put them together like that. And the engineering bricks like that. And redstone in the middle, I think. No, a bucket. Okay. Okay, so let's go make a bucket oh never mind I have a bucket why I didn't just make a bucket I don't know let's just dump it in the lake there we go oh right you cannot dump water in a lake I guess I thought you could so let's just make an infinite water source for now. Okay, so let's just put the infinite water source 
Uh, right in this corner. Oh, darn it. Okay, let's clear that up. Wow, that thing dug deep. Okay, so let's just cover it up with some dirt. Okay, almost done. And let's just put the bucket in the crafting recipe. Kick one second. Hopefully this is loud enough. If it's not, I will just raise the volume on it. So let's put it in where am I gonna put it? Oh. I'm grabbing some stuff. Oh yeah, it's time to go build the multi tank. So basically what a multi tank is. I'm not sure if I explained this yet because I haven't really watched the rest of the episode. Um, a multi-tank is basically like a regular build craft or industrial craft tank, which we'll probably get into later. I just wanted to make one of these for a starter tank. Um, but it can be made out of literally, well, I don't think any block, but almost any vanilla block that's like cobblestones, probably sand, um, smooth stone, uh, what else, dirt, uh, well, yeah, and gravel, or basically anything that's like a block. Um, so yeah. I think it's basically like a regular industrial craft tank or something. Basically, it stores liquids, or you can also get it to store steam. Because steam is, for some reason, technically a liquid. It just can't be put in buckets, so yeah. And we'll probably get into steam later this season as well. Once we have a use for more power. So let's just build this tank. I'm just going to make it so it's one in, one deep in the ground. The thing about the tanks is the floor, the roof, and the corners need to be made out of whatever block you're using. Everything else, else in the tank, like the walls and stuff, yeah, basically that's all the walls. They can be made out of something, personally I prefer glass, or you can make them out of anything. They could be cobblestone too, I think, but the rest needs to be whatever material you're making it out of. So, I'm just going to place down a valve. Let's place it there. And let's just continue building the tank. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm deciding how big to build it. I'm gonna do a something. What is it? Uh, one, two, three, four. I'm gonna do a five by five. I think five by five by five. Is that what I'm doing? Yeah, I think so. So yeah, I'm doing a five by five by five. So yeah, let's continue building, and so like you can see I'm doing all the corners and right now I'm not really sure if you need the roof to be, co to be the material but I'm pretty sure so I'll fill that in. Continue filling it in. There we go. Okay. He 
Alrighty guys, I will be back in one second. I just need to go check on something. Okay guys, so let's... Well, I'm back, first of all. So let's finish doing this tank. Okay. Putting it all together. What am I doing now? Oh, right. I'm putting the valve on the bottom, too. You can put as many valves as you want in these. Uh, liquid. In the end, um, I have, like, four valves, I think, attached to it. But you guys won't see that for a few episodes. Because I didn't realize this till after I've recorded the next few episodes. So, yeah. Finish putting all the stuff on. And let's fill it in with glass. Oh, well, looks like we're out of glass, so let's go grab some more. Up the ladder. There we go. Do I have any glass in here? Got any glass in here? Nope. Do I have glass in in here? Nope. Oh yeah, I guess I do. One piece and some sandstone. No. Uh well here's some sand. So we'll just make some glass. Not that hard. Eat some meat. Okay, let's put the sand in. Okay, what am I doing right now? I have no clue what my guy is doing. Oh, I guess I made the sand already. Now I'm heading downstairs. Put the sand together. Okay, just so you guys know, uh, it's going to cut out right away, and then cut back in, and there will no longer be a narration, so yeah. So, just so you guys know. Okay, well, doesn't seem to be what I thought it was, but anyway, it just looks like a normal thing right now. The way you get it to change into a tank is by right clicking on one of these and you'll see if if it makes this little look on it. The little weird look thing. Then you know it worked. And it's a multi-tank. So now you can just put your tank or whatever there. Right click on this little thing here, that will flip it so that it drains liquid, and I'm pretty sure it drains automatically, let's see, yep, and it will start filling up, can I just click here, yeah I can, okay, so, I can store a decent amount of lava, I wouldn't say a huge amount, but a decent amount, Considering it'll be powering most of our machines. So, we'll let that fill up. And, we should probably get the power started. But, I think I'll wait until 
I am finished uploading so that it's not lagging and then I'll come back and finish that so I'll be back once I'm done uploading.